Itchin. Welcome to a special episode of Torah Chef, cooking with the Shiva Hamina. We're so excited to be here today because we're making something very special. What are we making? Kala. We're making kala. You know why? Because it is to bishvat. And kala has something in it that's very special. To bishvat. Kala has something in it that's very special, and that's this. Do you know what this is? Flour. Flour, and that's made from? Wheat. Wheat, which is chita, which is one of the seven special things from Eretz Yisrael. So we are going to make kala for to bishvat. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. First, we need three egg yolks. So, we are gonna separate these eggs. I'm gonna have you pour it in, okay, Nyoki? So, we're gonna put the three egg yolks. Hold on. So check if there's any blood. Okay, put that one in, in here. If you have a bread maker, you can make it with your bread maker, but if you don't have one, you can use a mixer. That works just the same. Okay, here's another one. Put that one in. Put that in. Looks like this is the easy one. Okay, and now this one. Three egg yolks. Okay, put those in, please. Yes, one. Okay. Racheli, do you want to come help? Okay, next we need to put in some oil. Three tablespoons of oil. Can you put that in? Okay, now we need a cup of water. Can you put the water in? Mm -hmm. All that water in. Yay! We're going to make yummy challah. Okay, now the flour. That's made of chita. chita. In it goes. Two and three quarter cups of flour. We're going to give everybody the recipe for our special challah. Now we need this much sugar. That's, that's just a little bit of sugar. There you go. Thank you. That was about a quarter cup of sugar. Now some salt. Can you put the salt in for us? Good job. And the last thing is yeast. And that makes the, what does that make the challah do? Rise. Rise, good. Can you put that in? Okay, we're gonna put this challah in to mix up and rise, and then we'll mix it and we'll form it later. Okay, okay, our dough is ready and it came out so beautiful. So the first thing we did was we put some flour on the counter because we're gonna turn this dough into challah. So let's get the dough out of here. Isn't it beautiful? Nice and beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna move the dough around a little bit in the flour so that we make sure that it's not sticky. And we're gonna braid it into two challah. Ready? Tubishvat is special because it's about the trees. It's the birthday of all the trees. And we like to think about the trees then, but it also reminds us of Eretz Yisrael. And we also think about all the special foods of Eretz Yisrael on Tubishvat, the birthday of the trees. Okay, so now we have enough dough for two challahs. Okay, can you make some snakes for me out of that dough? Roll it into snakes. Okay, we're gonna make three snakes for each challah. You can make a challah with three braid, or four braid, or five braid, or even six braid. But we're just gonna make three because it's the easiest one. And we are going to make three snakes. That's what we call it. Okay, good. Ready? Now that we have the three here, can you see that with the camera? Okay, we're gonna have the three and we move each one from the side into the middle of the other two. Move this one now into the middle. This one now, go ahead into the middle. And keep doing that. Thank you. Keep putting them into the middle. You wanna do that one? Good. That's pretty. Look at it. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna put it in this pan. We sprayed the pan a little bit with some pan. So that's one color. We're gonna do that all over again. We're gonna make three long snakes with the dough. Okay. 
This is a really fun snow day activity if you all want to try it at home. Okay, this is great. You want to try braiding that one yourself? Move into the middle. Good. Yeah, you know how to do it now. Is that your first time doing it? No. No? Good job. Okay, we have two hello and we are going to bake them. Okay, I think we're ready to take these out of the oven. They look so 